Well, the response to the news of the death of former President F.W. de Klerk continues to be fairly sharply divided. There are those that laud him for taking the brave step to unban the ANC, to free Nelson Mandela and move the country along the path towards negotiating a settlement for our country. But of course, there are others who cannot forgive or forget that he was very much a supporter of the apartheid regime and that he knew about uh, many of the apartheid activities uh, which of course caused uh, many broken lives. So uh, Mara, um, I'm joined now by Pule Lechfiti Jones. He's spoken to former President Khalema Motlante. He joins me now in studio. Uh, Pule, so uh, what did uh, Motlante say? Uh, you know, we saw that it seemed fairly heartfelt apology from uh, F.W. de Klerk, which was recorded probably quite, uh, quite recently. Uh, did Motlante accept that apology? Well, Sally, yes, he did, and he said that you know, um, for the fact that the 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 late um, lost apart, former apartheid president um, F. W. D. Klerk came forward to apologise, that should mean something, and therefore, in his capacity as an individual, he did accept the apology. Also, making reference to the fact that whether other people do or do not accept the apology, that's for them to take an, in their interest. But we do know that um, Mr. Matlant is one of those as well, Sally, who fought against the apartheid system when he was arrested in 19. Under the uh, Treason Trial Act, as well, where he was found or rather in position of explosives, where he was then taken to the John Foster um, prison before being sentenced and then taken to Robben Island for about 10 years. But then again, we do understand that um, F.W.D. Clerk as well played a role in terms of the settlement agreement that took place in, um, of course, in 1993 jointly with the late um, former president Nelson Mandela, which saw them also. We saw them also um, receiving Nobel um, Prize Peace Awards as well, um, you know, for that, you know, ushering of the country into um, the democratic elections that would then would take place in 1994, which would then also see them uh, being working together under a national unity, uh, unity joint government in um, around that period of 1994 to mm. 1995, the CLEC then resigning in 1996. All right, let's take a listen to that clip of uh, Khalema Motlante. Time, uh, a human life is lost. We always have to convey condolences, heartfelt condolences to the family and friends of uh, the deceased. Uh, and, and hence, uh, you know, we have conveyed our condolences uh, to Ms. Elita de Clerc and uh, the family. And, and, and of course, uh, FW occupies a special place in our history in the sense that uh, when the hour arrived for uh, the need to find a peaceful solution to the problem of apartheid, uh, he was able to step forward. And of course apartheid was an evil system uh, and, and, and left in its wake many, many, many victims. But uh, Ours is not to try and go back to the beginning uh, and try and correct the beginning. Ours is to start where we are today and uh, try and influence the end. All right, so we know that Khalema Motlante is a former president himself. He, he served as president for a few months. Um, but F.W. de Klerk is a former deputy president in the government of national unity. Now, if you're a deputy president, you do receive a certain type of funeral, but this is becoming a hot potato issue because there are some that are adamant he deserves no such honor. Did Khalema Mwatlande speak out about whether he'll be attending the funeral or whether there's anything more known about what type of funeral F.W. de Klerk is going to have? Well, firstly, you are correct to say, Sally, that there are those who believe that um, if W.D. Clerk does not deserve a state funeral, we saw, amongst others, um, some of those comments from the EFF saying if that happens, there will be protesting outside um, the funeral uh, where the funeral will be taking place as well. We have seen also other you know, um, um, influential people on social media commenting on that issue there. But we do know that the former president has, of course, um, distanced himself whether um, Mr. F.W. Clerk is entitled of a state funeral 
funeral or not, but saying that if he were to be invited by the family to attend the funeral, he would um, make his appearance there and would, of course, pay respects to um, the family. But for now, as it stands, um, Sally, there hasn't been any you know, details surrounding the funeral, when it will be taking place, and other details that we are expecting to hear from here onwards.